Our next Peabody winners were exceptional in their worldwide storytelling. Organs from live donors against their will seems like something that would never happen in real life. But it's happening right now in China. Leon Lee's documentary shows us the shocking practices that have allegedly in China's illegal organ trade earned them worth a billion dollars a year. It seemed pretty clear that China was doing a lot of transplants. In fact, they're the number two transplant country in the world after the United States in terms of volume. The Beijing Red Cross themselves stated in 2011 that over the past 20 years, only 37 people nationwide had registered to become an organ donor. The place where every other country in the world gets its organs, not available to them. Where, where are these organs coming from? They were charging $30,000 for a cornea, $60,000 for a kidney, $150,000 for a heart. Imagine what one person was worth. In short, the evidence is simply massive and overwhelming that, that this is happening and continue, is continuing to happen. The only way they can be doing this is if they have another source of living donors that are available on demand. And I say living donors. It's prisoners of conscience, including Falun Gong practitioners, Tibetans, Uyghurs, house Christians who are being killed for their organs. And many of us now believe that the practitioners of Falun Gong may be one of the worst victims. Accepting the Peabody is Leon Lee. Thank you to the Peabody Committee for this incredible honor. Thank you to Canada Media Fund for making this film possible. This award really belongs to David Matus, David Kilgore, Ethan Gutman, and the many others who work tirelessly to bring an end to this crime against humanity. It belongs to the innocent Falun Gong practitioners and other prisoners of conscience in China, Crystal Chen, who was arrested five times in China for her belief in Falun Gong. She was forced to undergo multiple blood tests in the labor camp. If any one of those tests came up as a match for an organ transplant, she wouldn't be here with us tonight. Every day, there are people who aren't as lucky as her, and we cannot stop our work until forced organ harvesting in China is ended. Thank you all.